Jujutsu Kaisen is literally everything I've ever wanted from like Naruto and Bleach. Straight up. I actually love Speaking Jujutsu Kaisen. Speaking of Naruto versus Bleach, we've got a, a winged angel versus a dude with blonde, with blonde hair. I don't know anymore. Anyway, we got Wadi versus Anthony. Is it cool? Wadi is going pit. I've never seen the Wadi pit before. I might be just, you know, kind of uh, new to this, but is that, is that a thing he's done before? Vance? <laughs> Sorry. Anybody? <laughs> um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm making sure I'm watching this here. It's all good. Uh, anyway, as we're seeing right now, just a uh, good back and forth between the two competitors. Uh, good whiff grab punish there by Anthony and Cool trying to pressure with the up airs. Cloud's up air is probably one of the best, like, vertical pressure tool in the game. Because it's just like, here's a giant hitbox right underneath you. Oh, so this is an absolutely new thing for Wadi, apparently. <laughs> Big up air there. I will say that Pit, to me, feels like one of the more underrated characters in this game. The character's got such a really uh, um, creative combo game out of down throw. You can pretty much like combo out of almost any one of Pit's aerials or smash attacks out of it, depending on the percentage. And uh, I just think the character is really as well explored in this game because none of the top players are particularly keen on picking up the character but here we see wadi trying to pick up the character instead of picking up a stock loss suffering that dash attack from anthony isn't cool take the first stop anthony getting the limit crop limit uh limit blade beam there totally putting the pressure on wadi yeah this is kind of a rough matchup for pit just because pit's aerial speed and movement isn't that good and cloud punishes a lot of that especially against pit but if Wadi is able to just effectively call anthony as much as possible on things like that forward air he'll be golden but the problem is like once you do try to find yourself in some certain situations with cloud it'll be rough like right here this is cloud being able to pretty much just win that interaction and then slowly fight for center stage it's that one of the most tilting things in this game is thinking, oh, I have completely shielded through uh, Climb Hazard. I can punish it, and you can't. That said, Wadi was able to find a later punish there with the up smash, take the stock, and bring this back to even. I punish Climb Hazard, man. <laughs> Ooh, Wire was trying to escape there. But it's really hard to evade Cloud dash attack in certain situations. Nice back air by Anthony isn't cool. He controls full stage. Wari's getting a little familiar with using Pitt's arrows to get back to stage, but Anthony isn't cool with not losing his cool and able to take that stock. Yeah. Oh, that was a good empty hop to try to get that up top, but unfortunately missing it, going for the full cross slash. That's double down it. Good on Wadi to try to get that jab on that platform. Nice grab, catching the detailt, slightly whiffing. Wadi is kind of taking this game by the scruff of the neck, assumed to full control. Oh, that's the sign of a veteran just going, oh, he's going to stop doing the um, cross slash there. I'm going to grab him. Oh, fourth was going to do it. Yeah. You see, Anthony isn't cool. He's trying to change a little bit of tact. Playing this a little slower. Gets the back air there to go. I do oh, think that this... the ability... Oh, oh see, this oh is the hard part God. for Pit. Wadi, stop returning to the scene of the crime. It's like he, <laughs> ran, he literally Tripping ran in. away. Yeah, yeah. He literally ran away with all the money. He's still alive and he keeps coming back towards center stage. And that's what I'm saying. Like, Cloud really punishes you for that. Jesus. Walking in. Oh. <laughs> Anthony isn't cool. Able to slam the door shut in game one with a big up smash. So we'll see if Wadi decides to uh, end this pit experiment tonight a little early or if he's going to try and maybe change tactic, maybe rely on the pit arrows a little bit more in game number two. 
All I know is that there was just a lot of possible conversions, a lot of good DI choices by Anthony in that game that made it so that Wadi wasn't really able to um, get all the uh, advantage state that he was looking for there. And we have seen Wadi play a whole repertoire of characters, um, in particular the Rob and the Mewtwo, so maybe we'll see the return of those characters in game two, but it's all Yeah, I don't, I don't, I oh. don't, I really like, I don't, I'm not flaming Wadi or saying he's not capable of having a pit. I'm not going to tell him that right, for sure. I definitely will say, I don't think the pit was the right choice against Cloud. I will say Rob is a better choice for sure. I don't think Mewtwo is a good choice for Cloud. Mewtwo kind of somewhat has the same problem as Pit. Like, he can be really, he can be a terror with the aerials, but the minute like Mewtwo has to face Cloud in the air, remember, Cloud is really good at punishing you for being above him, and you don't want to be anywhere above Cloud. One of the things Rob, Rob is able to deal with in terms of uh, Cloud's anti airing is that that Nair is so huge. Yeah. But right now, it doesn't even matter. Oh! oh! He what still a got, trade! He still literally got the last hit of the knockback from forward smash. That's ridiculous. Gets us back here. Good to start setting up that cross slash there because oh, he man. knew how Wadi was going to respond after that platform. Jesus. Anthony is on a tear. I love the way Anthony's playing this, which is just relentless pressure on Wadi. He's yeah, not you, letting him breathe. You don't. You don't. You don't want to give. You don't want to give Roddy and Rob the time of the day to set up all the neat little tricks Rob can do to you at the ledge. The faster you get rid of this character, the better. Because the more time you spend on him, man, he will have everything. Oh, he was just frames off an up smash trap. Wadi right now is trying to at least bring the game to a pace that's more amenable to him. Nice ledge re grab and the down smash. He managed to roll right by Anthony as he tried to do the. Very standard uh, cloud back air fair ledge trap there. Big Nair from Wamadi is he starting to really find his groove here in this game. Ooh. And cloud up, he's not going to be able to find its mark with these up airs. I, I, I love how Anthony's just like, yeah, Rob loves to land on you. So I'm just going to keep throwing these giant smash, the smash attack hit boxes up at him. Oh, rough uh -oh. spot. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep doing the the one two with the cross slash like Anthony's been doing because Wally seems to have a bead on it being something particular that Anthony's fond of doing, and has right. so far gotten grabs and thrown gyros right in the midst of it. Nice nair here from Wally, just trying to avoid uh, or make Anthony waste the limit. It doesn't even matter. Dash attack coming through, catch Wally trying to land. And Anthony isn't cool is one stock away from moving on here. Oh man, big limit cross slash. Anthony isn't cool trying to show he isn't just Anthony, he's big Tony coming out here. Big fair. Again? Wadi. Oh, oh this, is it, this 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 is it. <laughs> big Tony oh, time. What a color on Wadi on that recovery, man. Anthony did not give Wadi the time of the day. Like I said, you don't want to give him that. That's the last thing you want to do for Rob is give him that ability.